Now in this lecture, we will learn what is short function in PHP. We're going to learn how short function work and how to use it. So what is the use of this short function in PHP? The short function is used to short array elements. This function shorts array element from lowest to highest. The syntax of the short function is very simple. You have the first parameter, which is the required parameter of this function. And here you will specify an array which you want to short. And then you have the flag as a second parameter. This parameter is an optional parameter to this function. And this function is going to return boolean value. It's going to return true or false. Now you're not limited to specify only this default short regular flag. You can specify different flag to this parameter as well. You can pass here short numeric, short local string, short natural and short flag case. So these are the options you can pass as a second parameter to this function. Now let me show you a very simple example to understand how this short function work. So I'm going to simply create here a variable and specify array to it. In this array I have different alphabets. So I just want to short this array. So I'm going to simply call here short function and specify that array here. Now when I try to print this array using printr, I'm going to have a result something like this. I have my shorted array. Now you're not limited to only short string. You can pass numbers as well. For example, let's say you want to short numbers. So you will simply create an array of numbers. And if you want to short this array from lowest to highest order, you can simply call short function and specify that array as a parameter to this function. And now this array is shorted. And now when you try to print this array, it will simply short these values from lowest to highest value. Now what if you want to short an array keys? For example, let's say you have an array and in this array you have array keys. Now you want to short these array keys. So to short these array keys, you will simply call a keys variable and specify array keys function to it. This function is going to return all the keys to this keys variable. Then I'm going to just call short keys. So I'm going to use short function to short these keys and then use combine function to combine these keys with these values. So I'm going to just call array combine function, pass the shorted keys and then specify values to it. And I'm going to just get the result and store it in the result variable. When I try to print this statement, it's going to return the value something like this. I'm going to have array keys shorted. Now let me show you one more example. For example, let's say you want to short people using their age. I'm going to create here an array and I'm going to have value to it. So I'm going to first specify ID to the user and I have information of the user. So I'm going to just pass ID, name, surname and age. So I'm going to just add two more values here. And now I want to short this array depending on the user age. So how do I do that? The very simple way to do that is to first create a variable result and then pass array map function to it. And using this array map, I'm going to iterate the people array variable. So I'm going to pass a parameter people. And in this array map, I'm going to return item age. So I'm going to return this value to this variable. So it's going to return all the ages of the people. So once I have all the ages of the people in this result variable, I can then short it. But at this time, I'm not going to use short function. Instead, I'm going to use a short function. So this A is stands for associative array. So using this function, we're going to short associative array. So I'm going to use here a short and then pass result to it. When I try to print this statement, it's going to return this value. You can notice here, I have the ID of the user and their age. So this function will short this array and return the ascending order of the people age. So we will have 18 first, then we have 21 and 23. So that's super easy to short any array using these functions. I hope you understand how short function work in PHP. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.